Hi, welcome to Sexy is Timeless. And sing, happy Cinco de Mayo, girls. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I am Luisa Diaz, author of Sexy is Timeless. I'm founder of Luisa Diaz Foundation, which is a celebration of kindness coming to you from Manhattan, New York. I am so excited today because we have back our beautiful diva from Mexico, Raquel Besudo. How are you, darling? Oh, I'm so happy to be with you, girls. Uh, I'm I'm happy that I'm considered a sexy, is timeless girl. You are. <laughs> so sexy and, and timeless. Uh, I have to tell you that yes, I feel timeless. That's for sure. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure, but I, I think I'm sexy. You are so sexy I'm and okay. timely. You are a beautiful diva. But before we start with our diva shot, let's introduce to you my fabulous friends and co-hosts. Hello, everybody. I'm Samantha Basuto Drucker, your lifestyle genie and author of 90 Days to Husband Number Two, coming to you from the beautiful Hotel Las Islas in Baru, Colombia. And yeah. Raquel, you are the standard of sexy and timeless. Mi oh, prima oh. linda. Besitos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Te adoro. Well, of course, I agree with Samantha. I'm Delana Dixon, editor-in-chief of DivaGalsDaily.com and the creator of the comedy series All About Eve. And I'm coming to you from the beautiful state of Georgia. Georgia. And right here, my darling, you are in Cabo. Yeah, I'm in Todos Santos, which is a gorgeous, magical town. It's this big and everybody's in love here because it's it's like pristine. So that's incredible. And I'm in a very, in a friend uh, hotel and it's Waikura is called and it's really magical. Everything is magical here. Even it's you know, it's magical. <laughs> and it is a big party because today is Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. So and I wanted you, Cinco de Mayo girls, and I wanted you to really share with us because a lot of people misunderstand that Cinco de Mayo is the independence of Me Mexico, but it's not. So besides having an excuse to drink margaritas and tequilas, can you educate a little bit us what is Cinco de Mayo? Well, I'm very happy that you asked me because uh, I think in the States is much more important Cinco de Mayo than our real Independence Day, which is the 15th of September, and then the 16th is the main day. But Cinco de Mayo is important because uh, we de defeated the French army. It, they were coming to, to get, uh, there was a debt that we didn't pay, una deuda, Mexican mm -hmm. government was not able to pay, so they came and they fight and we defeated them. So that was the big, and, and we're talking about 1862. So that's why it's a big celebration because it was the army, you know, Napoleon's army. Yes. And it was defeated by the Mexicans. So that's for us like, wow. Of course, next year, they came back and they defeated us, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> that's another story. But now we are celebrating that. And that's called the La Batalla de Puebla, right? La Batalla de Puebla. And Zaragoza was the great general. And we defeated the French. It's like, believe it or not. So that's why it's so important. And we get drunk and margaritas. And bueno, entonces. And Entonces, to La Batalla de Puebla, okay? Happy <laughs> Cinco de Mayo to all our fabulous <laughs> friends who are joining us. <laughs> Nothing to do with independence, okay? Wonderful. So, so, but we have so much to talk about it. Congratulations, my beautiful diva. You just got engaged. We want the inside school. It's cool. So please tell us how he proposed when he proposed and when you said when Even Samantha was there. The thing, I know she wasn't, but it, was, it wasn't. Now in Las Islas. Uh, we were 
past uh, December, we were passing our gorgeous vacation in uh, Baru, in, and and we were having, you know, the, the end of year celebration. And suddenly it was that 12, 10, you know, 11, 10, 9, blah, blah. And then he says, David says, come, come out. Let's see the um, artificial fire. I said, artificial? I don't hear anything. But he oh. took me and there's an observatory. He took me there. And I said, wow. And he knelt and asked me, would you marry me? And gave oh. me a gorgeous ring of gold. Emerald from Ooh, the beautiful in, in, uh, in your country, <laughs> Colombia. By the way, Colombia for me is a, a dream place. Uh, and Baru, look at her. She's really in one of the most beautiful hotels in the world. And it's a cousin, so we love yeah. it. And it was like, I couldn't believe at my age, I don't mean, I'm not going to say my age. I'm falling in love and he's absolutely in love with me. So I think, oh. wow, it can happen and you can get in love again. And you feel the same as when you were a young girl. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you because, you know, a lot of people think, might think that after 50, that it's difficult to find love. But you are saying, Hello, girl, it's not. I'm breaking that barrier. I am so happy and I feel like a 20 year old. I love it, like not even 20, 50, like your first love. <laughs> the thing is, it's all here and you have to be prepared. Uh, life is not easy. As you said, um, it, it's like, to be alive is going up and down and up and down and that's life. It's not just Oh, happiness all your life. It's happiness and falling again. And and again happiness and falling again. And happiness and a roller coaster. That's a roller, and that's what life is about. And if you think it's only being here, you're mistaken. Because really, then you don't know what good is what the opposite of good is, because life is good and bad. So that's that's uh, uh, something I've learned and I appreciate everything that could make me feel great. And I have to be strong when I, I'm not at the top. And you have to be like that. That's my leg. That's very important what you say, because sometimes we think that life is only when the good things is happening to us. Mm -hmm. But life is, is also the bad things too. So we have to embrace as well, the good things and the bad, and they were good. So with that, I know, Dilena, you have some uh, great question for Raquel. First of all, you are the epitome of sexy is timeless. Now, Samantha has written the book on 90 days to husband number two, but I want to know how you knew that David was the man for you. How did, he, how did you know he was the one? The truth is, I saw him, uh, it was very interesting the way we met. Uh, he was passing by Mexico, he's American, also a bit of French. And, say, and then I said, well, he's not only American, I love Americans, but he has the French uh, savoir faire. That means he's a little bit more open to experiencing th different things, not only the American way of life, right? So I love that idea. And also he was, he is a Stanford boy. So I said, okay, he's also intelligent because I think it's very important. You get in love with a person, but also with his mind. And sure. I was blessed because I can talk to him. So I said, okay, finally, he said, okay, we have to see each other. I cannot see you more in Mexico. He invited me to, to, um, Washington and I said oh and then she said my house has many uh, uh, bedrooms so you can stay in I said okay okay I'm coming to Washington and then I, I wasn't his I did 
like ambience and I saw the way he is. I saw that everything he said is the truth because there is parts that you have to be really careful. And then I said, this is the one. And uh, now, now after, because for me, the pandemia wasn't that terrible. And I don't, I cannot say it, but it made me really know him a bit more, yes, a lot more. And that made me, yeah, sure that he is the one. <laughs> Yes. And he's in love, and I'm in love, and I say, guys, you can get a second chance in life and be in love and feeling you're a young girl again. Oh, I love that. I love that. Well, of course, you're going to be planning a wedding. It'll be your second wedding. Is there anything you want at your wedding? Tell us a little bit. What are you thinking about? White dress, dumb. And are we invited? <laughs> we, we are invited, right? The sexy stylist girls. We are going to the wedding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember, I'm also, as Samantha, I'm also in the stylish world. I just finished being part of a big uh, show in Mexico called Cuídate de la Cámara, which is like fashion police. And we were always criticizing but very nicely just saying I like you but it would be better if you would do this and that so it's it, it's nice but uh I'm thinking that uh, I just I was just in yesterday in, in a luncheon and I saw a wedding girl with all the people oh. invited and it was after the wedding but she was in white again and I said what of course, very tropical because here is really tropical and and um, and I was thinking that yeah, we have to do it somewhere where it's bright and shiny. We're thinking in, at the end of the year, and but I have to tell you another thing. If I invite all my friends, it would be I would. Uh, then forget somebody and, and it would be a mess because you cannot forget they get and I know and you cannot like, forget your girl from sexy stylist impossible <laughs> no te olvides tu primita and it would be like never ending story because I really have thousands of friends oh, and that's wonderful. What, some are really close but some are very nice and i have to be nice to them too so it's a problem so i haven't decided of course the family the very close family because i have extended family of course all my colombian family of course is invited but uh i really we're still planning it's not decided it's a very interesting issue but not decided yet so the <laughs> wedding is this year Poquito. Oh, I, I hope it can be at the end of the year, exactly as he proposed, like in, in the same feeling of, of holidays and Beautiful. my <laughs> Beautiful. Um, Samantha, I know that you have so many questions as well. I have so many questions, but my <laughs> first question, Raquel, mi prima linda, is what is the best part of being in love, falling in love later in life, what is the best part? And, and tell us about having a chapter two at any age. The thing is, I, I think uh, when you are young, and that was my case, I was very young. I really felt that I was in love because you feel things in your, you know, the little butterflies that they say, you feel it. And that I was only 16 and I married at 17. So I was too young and everything was a little bit of surprise. And then I, I have a first baby, oh my God. And then feeding her, oh my God. Everything was, oh my God, at my age. I'm so mature and he's so mature that we know everything, but still everything is like brand new. Everything is a surprise. Knowing him, and as we say, we are so intimate and, and we respect one each other. 
we're so sure of what each other we don't even think that oh he might see somebody else because he loves me and i love him and so i i, I even told him that i don't have any more when you see a nice boy you say wow no now i see him but it's okay but it doesn't make any difference in my feelings sometimes when you're young you are always imagining things huh? and i i'm sure the boys too now at my age you're like in a like in a pause and you don't have to be you you know exactly that he is for you and i'm for him so it's really i really consider it's very important to have this feeling again <laughs> oh, beautiful 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 i'll go ahead samantha i love it i love it i love it and i love that you are having a chapter two later in life and i think it's beautiful but apart from getting engaged this year here at Hotel Las Islas, um, which is a super romantic place, you've been extremely industrious in other ways. Please tell us, Raquel, about your new book. Yeah, then you're going to know who Raquel really is. I'm, I really opened myself up. I... Uh, I say in Mexico, me desnude, um, to, to show who really Raquel is. I, you know, I Raquel Besudo because I married this lovely guy, Leon Besudo, but coming to the Besudo family was a whole issue. As I said, I married at 17. I was in my little circle with my parents that came from uh poland you know the immigrants in mexico mexico opened it. so i'm talking about all my childhood everything you know here in mexico we have a very important writer that is enrique krause he is my first cousin so i'm talking about every step and then coming to the besudo family because we are related to you samantita but this mm -hmm. is a very different part of the family because they, my father-in-law, Mr. Jan Besudo, was one of the preeminent guys in Mexico. But he started from scratch and I really admire him a lot, but he was a very tough father. Tough? No, tough is little to explain how tough he was. <laughs> So me coming from a very lovable family, coming to this family that come on, say hello, dad. And he was Mr. Pesudo. So I saw him, the way he behaved. I said, well, it was tough. So I want you to read my book. It's called Comoda en mi piel. So I don't even know how to translate it. It's being very Comfortable in my skin. Comfortable in my skin. Ah. Right, right. What would you like we to get from that book? What is that yes, message? What, what, yeah, mm -hmm. because the most important thing of my biography is how I achieved being in this environment, which is the Basuto, because it was a whole environment, a different environment of strong boys, <gasps> the father and my husband. The two other boys were never taking really good care. I feel, and I say it, tough father, difficult father. But me having Leon, very like his father, and I had to, to make him understand that I'm his equal, not lower, and that I'm not just going to be a mother and, and a housewife. And making him understand that I'm a human being and I don't want to be white of them, I want to be hell besudo. Finally, he understood and he let me just be. So that's why I'm a historian. The children were at, at the school and I went to school. So I finished after my high school and I married. So I was telling, I did everything the other way. But now I, I, I fulfilled every 
I was in politics, I was in the private sector, I did everything. And he admired me and, and guess what? My father-in-law admired me because I really did something. Even Leon's sister, Estella, said, I admire you for many things, but what I most admire you, you changed my brother. And it's, it's the truth. He was tough, he was going to be exactly like his father, and he changed. And of course, we lost the boy, you know, oh, everything is going to be in my... So that's why I'm telling you, you can be at the top, you can be at the worst bottom, and then you go because you have something, because I think that life is a miracle. Life is to be, to treasure it. And for me, there's nothing more important. And God has given me the opportunity to be alive. He that took my is, boy, he took my husband, but not me. <laughs> that is wonderful. And we're really looking forward here uh, to read your book. And all our ladies who are watching us, please, you have to read uh, to read uh, Raquel Besudo's book. But tell me, when is it going to go out and when they can find it? Oh, I love it. I love the cover. Oh, wonderful. Como de mi piel. Como de mi piel, comfortable in my skin. No, love it. Felicitaciones uh, in, for el éxito de tu libro, Raquel. That's congratulations on the release of your book. We've all written books and plays here, and we know how hard it is to write a book. Que gran trabajo. What a big work you have done. Congratulations, and, darling. But well, well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And Un really, as I told you, this is really connecting with girls because it's also for boys to see how a man can. I, I even told my husband. You have to leave your father's uh, carritos. It's a big devil, uh, 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 soft green business. He was the head of it. But I said, no, enough, because your father is on top of you and you have to free yourself. Yeah. He couldn't believe, and I made him do it. And uh, I know he was so happy that I helped him just get released from a power that was his father. So really, um, I think this is all written here. So I think it's- I can't wait, I can't wait to read it. So where can we find it, in Amazon? Yeah, in Amazon, but the Amazon Mexico. I'm not too sure if it, I think it's in ebook. You can find it. Uh, yeah, in Amazon anywhere, but it's, right now it's in Spanish, but you are going to translate it later in English, right? Yes, it's going to be a translation, of course. And we're just celebrating you today, Raquel, my beautiful cousin, in so many ways, your brilliance, your kindness, your industries, your book, your, your cosmetic line, everything about you. But we also have to celebrate one more thing. I mean, of course, your engagement as well. I want to be at the wedding, please. But your birthday. Oh, happy yeah. birthday. Please come yours. I love you, girls. So happy you. birthday, darling. You are forever. You are the face of sexy is timeless. Okay. <laughs> I, I, love it. I really think you're the best. What a great way of making uh, the feminine uh, at, at the top of, of the line, right? We are here. Okay. And in this book also, I want the girls, I, all my friends and all the Mexican girls, because I think I'm very Mexican in the way we are raised to be always serving your, your spouse. In this your man. Time, you can be strong as him and that's what my purpose is to really be like uh, uh, the the way you should be all your life love it and that is mm. sexy and timeless which is me feminine yet strong thank you so much raquel we love having you in this show this is your second time that you have been in this show and uh, so, and we are so happy for your engagement. And I hope that we can share that beautiful moment 
with you getting married. I hope oh, it goes to you next girl, Tia. <laughs> thank you, thank you, ladies. Happy Cinco de Mayo for all the ladies who are watching us today. I want, ladies, you to remember that age is just a number. Please do not allow people to tell to tell you that you are too old to find love or too old to go for your dreams and for things that you want. Please be kind to yourself and others.